Back to graphic design. So, part of um, part of the thing that's so sickening, like, one uh, we, were, we were talking about money, and one thing that bothers me is that you guys like you got you got to realize that money is um, uh, money is like an essential force that you have to cultivate. It's like a form of it's a form of energy. It's a form of energy it has it has a claim on all other forms of energy. It has uh, this is a Michael Saylor point, but it's a form of meta energy, so it can be used to buy food, energy, shelter, etc. It's a form of energy that it, it, it uh, supersedes all other forms of energy. But it's the thing that you um, like you're trading you're, you you are trading your time for this stuff. You're trading your blood for this stuff. Your your mojo, your life essence. If you're you know whether even if you're doing something um, if your job is toy or even if your job is creative, creative, like what I do, I'm, I'm trading my mojo and my my, uh, my productive years, etc. in exchange for this form of meta energy. So it's a thing that you have to, like, you can't you can't have a cavalier or nihilistic or destructive or negative attitude about it. You really have to know um, that it, you have to, like, respect its importance to you. Otherwise, you'll end up, uh, you know, on the, on the wrong side of the equation. Um, the So one thing we're talking about is, like, the monetization via advertising. Um, this is one of, the, one of the reasons why we're, our content is blacklisted, suppressed, deboosted, um, etc. is because we're not really advertiser friendly. And the um, the monetization model it affects the the end the end product so much. I mean, the reason why it's the reason why everything sucks is because everything everything is um the way that things get paid for is via advertising. Nobody nobody really is buying tickets to go see movies anymore. Nobody's buying DVDs anymore except except for you know collectors. I'm sure there's one guy out there who, who just bought a new Tarantino DVD set and goes I I collect DVDs. Oh yeah, okay, we get it. But that's I'm talking about the rule, not the exception. Um, everything is funded with advertising, so everything has to appeal to advertisers. It has to be and it has to be the kind of thing where you can you can monetize it not by selling. You're not selling an eighty dollar DVD to a thousand people. You're selling an, uh, an eight cents ad impression that goes across a million people. So you have to appeal to a totally different demographic anyway. So there's, there's um, even less ways for niche artists to make money. If you're in the past, you could have done. I think Matt Damon talks about this. One of the um, with uh, um, what was his Goodwill Hunting. So movies like Goodwill Hunting, it used to be possible to fund a movie like Goodwill Hunting because even if it didn't, even if it had a lackluster theater debut, later on you would have people who were real movie fans, real movie buffs that wanted to collect DVDs. They would go buy the DVD, so you'd see a, you'd see a, a secondary, you know, back end sale on that. Whereas nowadays people are only interested in what they can get for free on their phone. Um, so you have to. It's just everything. Everything sucks. Um, for that for that reason. So. Um, oh, the the graphic design stuff. One of the really shitty things about this is that um, books now. This is crazy. Like in the past, a book, the purpose of a book, or the way that people would have seen a book. A book is for preserving information in, uh, uh, between generations. It's for passing down your knowledge or your story or whatever to, to for, for posterity. Basically, it's it's a thing. Like if you if you had a book in the past, it was a real a real serious um, big deal type type of thing. And now a book is part of the monetization model for all these. Uh, people who should be nobodies, like David Goggins, these people who, like, they, they don't have some vast wellspring of interconnected bases of knowledge from which they can build a, this, like, pyramid of wisdom or whatever. They're basically just saying, they're, they're basically just, um, selling their public speaking tour. Like, why does this guy have a book? This guy is, uh... He ended up on my recommended this morning. Uh -huh. I tried to work, talking about how he had, like, a stalker. Me? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, I was just thinking, like, what the stalker you're talking about was it saying. I can't, I can't imagine what's, what's in these books. Never finished. It's, what, 300 pages? You really need 300 pages to talk about how you, you, uh... You can run a marathon, of a 30-hour marathon? Good God. But, um, so books now, it's like every, every nobody blogger on medium.com or every, every nobody turd who's had a TED Talk has an, has an accompanying, accompanying book to sell. The level of noise when it comes to, to books is, um, at, at an unprecedented, uh, never-before-seen level here. The, the best, like, Prince Harry? The, prin the Prince Harry book is a bestseller? Um, 48 Laws of Power. Oh, crap. Dark Triad. Crap. Doesn't work. It'll make you more miserable. This fucking, this shit is all junk. Um, never finished David Goggins, an asshole. But the, the, the bad part of this is if you go, so here's the point that I'm making, okay? Sorry for, I'm ranting here and getting a, a bit of Asperger's-y. If you, oh, fuck you. Um, so if you look up how to graphic design, the stuff that comes up now is, it's like, uh, what is that Instagram account that I just followed? Um, it's, it's basically, it's basically impossible to get a new book about graphic design or anything aesthetics-based that's not like this uh, regurg regurgitated blog post, The 12 Most Inspiring Graphic Design Trends for 2023. The person who wrote this probably has a book that's for sale on Amazon. So there's, there's so much noise. So to get that real info, and this applies to probably more, th I mean, I'm sure this applies to more things than just graphic design. If you're trying to learn, if you're trying to learn anything, you find that the, the topical present day bestseller list is obviously made up of junk. It, it might be the case that you have to go back to the, to the fucking 1960s to get a book that um, actually has the information you need. So if you're doing, if you're doing design, uh, this is one that you're, you need to pick up is the basic principles of design. I'm sorry in advance if the eBay price is shooting up to 400 because of this, but um, Manfred Meyer, basic principles of design, um, is, a, is a big one. There's a, was it, grid-based systems? Um, this, is, this is a good one right here. This might still be in print. Joseph Mueller Brockman is a, is a graphic design one. And then get the, um, on eBay, I just bought a bunch of these, um, but there's a, a type foundry and design house called Emigre, and they had a magazine, and this, just buy, all, buy like five of these and pick them apart, and this will, this is, this is better than a college education in design, is if you just pick up an Emigre magazine and really think about what they're doing on the page. Um, because every, every page, and they have a weird sort of Y2K, like, uh, this type of typeface design, like it's not, it's not immediately apparent.